Welcome to episode two of Subnautica Playthrough, where I'll just be playing through this. Uh, I won't be giving spoilers as I play through it, but it is the second time I'm playing. Hope you guys just enjoy the show. We've, we're about 30 minutes, oh sorry, three hours in. The Aurora has exploded. I've crafted nothing really. Like, I have. Uh, Storage in here. Emergency power only. And Oxygen production. That's offline. about it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the radio is gonna give us some really good stuff now. So, let's listen in what they say. High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attack. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kasa. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location okay. uploaded to PDA. Okay. Um. That was kind of lame. <laughs> Press F8 to report, for report bugs. No, there's no bugs. I'm really enjoying this. Oh, before we drown, let's just look at uh, what we have available and what we can try and craft. So, let's see here. We have... Uh, we can now make glass. That's really strong glass, I guess. Still can't make a stasis rifle. We can make a laser cutter, but we need a lot of diamond. Okay, so we need diamond for a lot of the stuff that I want to make. I want to make a laser cutter. And I also want to make a ultra high capacity attack, which takes a lot of lithium. And we don't have lithium. And I want to make this, which also takes lithium. We have no lithium. I want to make this, takes lithium. I, I got no lithium at all. Can you guys hear me okay? Everything's good? Excellent. Here, we have a, like, we can definitely make a multi-purpose room. And I think we're going to make that as soon as we move over to the new place. We also know how to make a thermal plant, but that'll take forever to make. And uh, we can make a spotlight. I don't care about spotlights. Bulkheads are cool. Takes silicon rubber. Did not know it takes that. Bioreactor's also cool. So the bioreactor we can make, but we need silver for wiring kits. Oh, speaking of, we really want to make whatever the wiring kits are. Yeah, wiring kits. We want to make a shit ton of these because we need some electronics. And I don't remember where silver is mined. So best case is to just go over there. I'm gonna take my pod, which, aboard, Captain. you know, it has some energy left, but it's not the most. Where was this thing? Where is it? Ah! Is that it? Yes, it is. Okay. It's just a way for us to get oxygen, and we need, we need silver. We need lots of silver, but it's like, I'm a noob, so I don't know where to find it. Once we get the rebreather, it'll allow us to go deeper than ever before, which is nice. It's, it's such a pretty game. I know I've said that like 20 times, but even so. Look at this. Ah, it's so nice. Just passing. Just passing. Yo, Spork. How's it going? We're just collecting uh, life bot information still. And nothing about the main quest yet, so... No spoilers. In terms of main quest stuff, I mean. I love the main quest in this game. Like, zero complaints. It takes a long time to activate, but I think that's necessary, especially for new players, where, like, simply getting to the main quest is an achievement of its own. Oh yeah, there's the little, the brief things. Nice. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Live 
planetary atmosphere. My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. External oh. efforts are approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one on and off and on again. Impact imminent. Life is a game which the universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. Return me. That was depressing, but also lithium. And, uh... To Sporticus, wish you could play this as such a cozy vibe. Why don't you? Oh, it's because it costs money? It's on sale quite often. I got this when I was on, like, free. Like, I'm not even joking. I got this on sale of 100%. If you don't own it, I think a base copy is 25 bucks, and every playthrough is, like, 10 hours, unless you're speedrunning. Highly recommend. I found some lithium, but I can't... I don't want alien RC eggs. 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. I want some more lithium. I saw like quite a bunch of lithium just now. Or by a bunch, I mean two. But two lithium is more than I've had this playthrough. Let's get rid of this thing. Not to get... Oh, you don't have a computer? To everybody watching on uh, YouTube later, I'm just responding to chat. I don't think you guys can see it though. No idea how to record chat though. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint or terror vehicle signatures. I wish I could help there, Sporticus. If I can collect like 10 lithium around here. I don't know why there's lithium here. I don't think I've ever explored this area in my previous playthrough. Can't stray too far from my oxygen supply. Salt is also good. Oh, this is a salt deposit. I can't mine it. Thirty seconds. Is there zero land? I I don't want to say so. Uh, I'm gonna be uploading episode one later on YouTube. You could skim through that one if you want. Uh, but for everybody that's not playing, or hasn't played it before, would recommend... Like, if you want to play this at some point, perhaps watching my stream... I mean, I hope I'm a... <laughs> I'm, I hope I'll perform well for you, but... Oops, I crashed it. I feel like you're gonna lose some of the experience, because it's there's a lot of discovery and exploration. This game is basically discovery and exploration, the video game. Survival elements are only a secondary. Especially if you churn off food and water, like I have. They are extremely obnoxious. I've said this before. You get machines that give you infinite food and infinite water, and so it just becomes a tedious thing of having food and water on your person. And Honestly, I'm having so much more fun turning that thing off. Nope, 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 nope.
That's okay. I I wish I could answer. Uh, maybe some later. I'll just repair this thing real quick. Cause I got bitten. So don't. Okay, point taken. Don't go that way. Bad guys. Oh, so this is not a spoiler, but you see how my lights are on? At the very bottom right, you'll see energy usage. They've patched this in that lights on vehicles do not drain energy. So I can just turn it on and give myself a nice floodlight without worrying about it too much. I just want more lithium. Oh yeah, day-night cycles are kind of scary in this game. I wonder if I can explore this side of uh, this cliff. There's more living there. I'm right next to a cliff, I think. Yep. Oh, it's not a cliff. It's a tree thing. Oh, coral? Yeah, that's what it, that's what an underwater tree mat of bacterium is called. Coral. Huh? Forgive me in my uh, inability to think straight. What is this? Is that lithium? Or just salt? Eh, salt's okay. I want lithium. Look at this. Look at this drop. Slow and steady. If I'm really blind and you see lithium, which are those like shiny smaller rocks than salt, you see I see a lot of salt, but I need lithium for my upgrades. Yeah, this is a crafting. Oh, I'm crashing. Oh, I'm crashing again. Oh, that's not good. I'm damaging my vehicle. <laughs> Underwater tree. Come! <sighs> so bad at driving. Alright. Oh, it's so nice. So, most of the time there's music or lots of, like, wildlife sounds. But this place is just nothing but the depths. I love it. I'm gonna be quiet for a minute or two so you guys can enjoy the bubbles and me walking around. Isn't the soundscape amazing? Oh, I can skin something.
if you're just joining us now, I'm intentionally being quiet to enjoy more of the soundscapes of this underwater forest, almost. Party 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Can I cut this? Doesn't look like it's something to be cut. All right, before I get too lost, where is my ship? Okay, look, follow the floodlight. Okay, there it is. Can't find any more lithium, which is quite a shame. But I found enough to make at least one wire kit, so that'll mean that I can preserve oxygen much greater depths. I know where to find a crap ton of lithium, but I don't want to go there because it's a spoiler. And I'm going to go there as the missions progress. Uh, what is this? I don't think I can pick it up. Did you guys see that fishy? My shadow has scared me. <laughs> Metal salvage. Oh, titanium deposit. I can't mine them. Ah, the music is great. Detecting multiple Leviathan class life forms in the region. Are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it? <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> I uh, <laughs> nope, thank you, no thanks, I am, no? <laughs> I'm just gonna, uh-huh. Metal salvage is nice too. Very, very much no. What's in here? Anything fun over here? Oh, inventory's full. Alright. Well, that's my cue to just head on home. If I find anything shiny along the way, maybe I'll look at it. Like this? This is shiny. Just more salt. <laughs> uh, this game is amazing. Pretty soon I'm going to want to move away from my uh, escape pod and move into a more permanent residence. Yes, the escape pod is amazing. It's got a lot of really cool stuff in it. Free med kits, free like crafting station, free uh, 
whatever it's called, you don't have to build any of that. And it's invulnerable, so nothing can ever damage it. But at the same time, this game requires you to store tons of material, and there's no storage space in there that's worth, like, even any... Alright, let's just go in here. Because... I have some lithium. How much do I have? I have three lithium. And I can probably use that for something. I know that there's a radio station. But I'm gonna do the crafting first so we can listen to the podcast in a moment. I'm gonna make a titanium ignot safe space on my inventory. I'll need a lot of them later anyway. Okay. I can also make plasteel. I'm not gonna make plasteel. What can I make? I can make a hyper capacity, so I need. Tank, silver... Oh, I already have one of these. Hold on. I can't... I don't have silver yet, so I need silver. Radiation unit, fins, high capacity, OT tank. Okay, let's... What are we out of here? Habitat... I already have one of these. Still don't have diamond. All that lithium and I can't make anything out of it? Alright, alright. Get the med kit. And let's listen to this mes message. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Okay. That's our cue to make a giant pilgrimage. So before I make the pilgrimage, what I'm gonna do is... Can I fit some more storage in here without building anything? Because I don't want to build anything that I need to just take apart later. So, let's uh, put together our habitat builder. And let's build. We're gonna build ourselves storage unit uh, and I fit one of these in here no and I fit these okay we're gonna fit it's gonna set it up because then I have a crap ton of titanium I'm just gonna take all the titanium and leave behind everything else I'm just gonna build these oops how do I build? Hold up. Construct. Okay. And then... I fill up my stuff with all of my stuff. Because... <laughs> I'm gonna make a pilgrimage. And I know for a fact there's a lot of really good stuff in the stuff that I'm gonna stuff. Do I need beacons? I don't even need these beacons at the moment. Tap builder. I'm underwater. I don't need fire extinguishers. Fungus sample. I don't really need these. I'm, if I remember correctly, they don't do anything. Contains enzymes. Yay. But I, I want this tablet thing, so I'm going to keep that. Doing my best to not spoil for you guys. Hope you're enjoying. I'm going to throw away the fungus samples. Oh, oh, while I'm here, let me, so, I have two fresh batteries, this thing's almost out of battery, and this thing's almost out of battery, so I'm gonna swap out the batteries, store the batteries, and make two new batteries. So for batteries, I need this stuff, not gold, I need copper, I need another copper, and I need gel sack. Oh, I don't need gel sack. What am I doing? 
I need more fungus. Okay, so I have one silver ore. I see, that's what I got. Wait, there's a silver here. I'm an idiot. I have two silvers. Alright, alright, I'm kind of an idiot. Let me just, um, make a wiring kit. Let's make some batteries. Okay. So I have 30 minutes to go to the landing site. Pretty sure I can do that soon. This way. Where's my fungus? Beautiful, beautiful purple flower things on the ground. Aha! Take two of these. Go back and craft another battery. Swap out my two good batteries for bad batteries. I need all the storage space I can take. Also, is there any more radio? There is no more radio. What the? Electronics, battery, okay. All right, now what do I need for a refibrator magachik? It's this thing. I want this thing. Wiring kit and fiber mesh. Okay. Do I have any fiber meshes? Fiber mesh. I got a computer chip. Fiber mesh. Fiber mesh! Oh, while I'm here. Just switch out this and this. Oh, it's so bright I can't see. Okay. 100%. Okay. And I'm gonna put them batteries back in here. There's two batteries. I keep all the meds medicine. I have my 100% batteries. Excellent. Okay, let's get a ref refrigerator magic. I keep forgetting what it's called. <laughs> oh, hold up. Let's see here. I want this. Radiation. Oh, this. Woo! Can I equip it? Yeah! And I don't really need the radiation suit at the moment. I'm gonna put the radiation suit. Should I even put anything in here? I'm committed. There's no storage in there because I don't want to move anything later, you know? Radiation suit. You're going into my storage. Put all the titanium back. Awesome! Let's go to the landing site. I'm gonna swim there. Nice and casual. I don't wanna use up energy for my equipment. So it says go this way. And so I will. La 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 la. We're making decent progress. I'm gonna swim underwater. So I can gather good materials on the way. And I can be scared. Or maybe I shouldn't swim underwater. It's scary. Just check something really quick. So, for the people that are watching, if you haven't played this game before, I suggest you turn off, or, and you intend to play it sometime soon, then I, I suggest that you turn off the stream right now. Huge spoilers in the next 5 minutes and then the next 32 minutes and 16 seconds. Just to let you guys know, now's a good time. Uh, if you do want to watch me play this, or if you've never played this and you just want to see what this game's all about, I'm still in the very beginning of the game. So if you're like, oh, I don't care about some spoilers in the first like 30% of the game, keep watching. Uh, it's going to be really fun. And yeah, 
guess that's that's all I gotta say for the moment. A piece of land. Let's swim underwater. Oh, it's, it's so spooky though. This water stuff is so spooky sometimes. So, to answer your question, there you go, land. I got like 30 minutes. So this is what I didn't want to spoil. There's like a bunch of stuff here that I don't want to spoil too much about. But we're just gonna observe and enjoy. So on the side of this gargantuan thing, there's often quite a bit of lithium. So that's what I'm looking for right now. Anything shiny? Where is it? Do I have massive energy signature in the region? Cannot identify. What is this? Silver ore. Okay, I have no way to mine. No mining equipment yet. It's nighttime, man. It's gonna be nighttime. Also, notice how the fish like phase through rocks like it's nothing. I love it. What is this? Ah! Silver! Very useful. I don't want to keep going that way without any spoilers. It's a bad idea. I'm gonna go around this side. <laughs> it is a bad idea to go that way around the island. Oh, that's a, that's a bad guy. Aha! Gold, also very useful. Man, this refrigerator is making such a difference. I can swim for longer, further. It's great. I think I replaced my batteries too. More lithium. Very useful in this game. Not the rarest material, but definitely one of the best early game. Oh, stuff! Can I can I scan you? I didn't yield anything useful. Thirty seconds. Okay, thirty seconds of me climb. Surface to air. Ah, graphics. Look at this game. Oh, come on, stop splashing back in. So pretty. There's the aurora. What's great is after the aurora explodes, it's always on fire, and it's just a great like compass idea. You just look at it as like, ah, that's a compass needle. There is my base. Here is the island. You can always find it like that. Speaking of island, where am I going? This way. Looking for more of those outcropping things. With good stuff in them. Aha, uh -huh, like this? Oh, I can scan this. Remember that materials you gather are the property of the All Terra Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at 3 million credits. Oh, that's. very, uh. Generous of you. I am dying here on this rock, and you're gonna charge me for the diamond I collect so I can build tools.
That was sarcasm, by the way, in case you didn't catch on. Alright, it's like 26 minutes left. I can keep looking for goodies. Collected quite a few already. Almost daytime, so I won't need to use this flashlight for too much longer. Which is good! Flashlight has limited capacity. Or, and a battery, I, I want to say. Or shale stuff. Oh, there's a cave over here. I'll go explore that later. La 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 la. Aha! I'll be able to make all of my wonderful things after I go home. How much space do I have? Crap! I'm kind of getting full. I wish I didn't take the sea glide. I'm not really using it. I'll just make a couple trips. Big sounds like that. No. Ah! Okay. Things are heating up. Twenty-four minutes. Guess I'll go this way. Ooh, I can scan this. Great. There's like a building over there. Some huh? mountains. Oh. Then press spacebar. Just jumped automatically. Let's scan this thing. So I'm here, right? This is where I'm supposed to, no, it's over here, 15. I'm early. Hello. 20 minutes left, I'll just explore. All right, let's, let's check out this, uh, this alien building thingy over here. Before we go that way, I don't have a choice. All right, let's go. Force field control. Neat. I'm gonna nope right now uh, <laughs> I don't want to go in there just yet cuz if I go in there I'll be lost that's gonna be its own adventure so the thing is this game really good graphics but you see how it stutters sometimes it stutters so much on land and walking is really tedious on land it's almost like oh we didn't plan on having land also, look at that repeating texture. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like... The the alien stuff just really, really makes it so it's difficult to like... Oh, let me drop this on the ground. Because I wanted to scan it. 
Wait, why is it glowing like that? You see that? All right, let's see what it says about that. So we got purple tablet, carbon-based device, lighter than it looks, symbol that resembles a U, uh, abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. Technology is far beyond Federation levels. There's no obvious way to interface with it. It should nonetheless be possible to fabricate the precise physical copy of the device. So I can make more if I run out? Azura, I don't want to go on this side. I have bad memories of this side of the island. 20 minutes, might as well explore. Oh, I saw a bad guy. Oh, the... The, the stuttering issue is so harsh. Oh yeah, I can run. There's a cave with even more stuttering issues. Like the best caves are. I don't want to move too far away from the landing site, but at the same time Maybe I should go back and forth, like, drop off my goodies and come back. Can I make it? I can totally make it in time. Alright, I'm gonna speed run this. I'm gonna keep the, my light on. I'm gonna ignore those bad guys. Run out here. If I see any like shell outcrops, I'm gonna collect their stuff. I don't even care what I'm picking up. Everything that I pick up from over here is good. Oh, we got stuff over here. I totally forgot about this place. I'm gonna scan it. Alien arch. There. Scan alien arch. We got. Doesn't know what it is. Maybe it's symbolic. I think is what it said. All right. 18 minutes. I'm wasting time. And I'm hurting myself. How do I get out of this cave? How do I get out? For anybody watching this, do you want me to stay at the landing site and make sure I don't miss my plane? Or do you want me to go home and see if I can like come back fast enough after dropping off my stuff? I want to see if I can make it back and forth. You know what? I'm going on this side of the island. We're gonna go with this. Go, go, go! 17 minutes to go. I don't know why I'm scared of this side of the island. Maybe it's unreasonable? Check something really quick. Alright. So you guys can hear me just fine, and is the music a bit too loud? Oh, I got a message. Someone says, sorry, I didn't see a message yesterday. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna pause this for one second. I'm gonna read a quick uh, message on, uh, on Steam. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna drop this off, go back, explore the uh, alien structure thingy, 
and then I'm gonna put this stream on pause because uh, I've been invited to play another game. Sixteen minutes left. Yeah, I can totally make it. I don't know why I was so scared. Maybe it's like I can't make it if I don't use the sea glide. But I got a sea glide. I got batteries of plenty. By batteries of plenty, I mean two. <laughs> Which is a, you know, a plenty. Anyway, I'm gonna go to my rescue ship, at least before pausing the stream. Right, everybody watching on YouTube. Uh, hopefully, I'll pick it up uh, real soon, and we can continue our our story. Let's see what's in here. Also, also, I have a new radio message, so let me just click that. Playing partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Analyzing, sharing subject locations with other agents. I don't think someone's happy that I found their spot stuff. Doesn't sound very good. <laughs> Hello, Google Matt. Uh, yeah, have you played this game before? Welcome to the stream. If you haven't, well, sorry about the spoiler you just heard, but that's got to be one of the spookiest things in this game. It's it's a very fun game. I would suggest it if you can afford stuff. Uh, like $15 is usually when it's on uh, sale. That's how much it goes on. Bye. Uh, if you don't want spoilers, I suggest coming back for a different stream. We're about to see a lot of spoilers in 14 minutes from now. Yeah, it takes a long time. This game, but the music sound effects and the visuals make it all worth it. It's just a pretty relaxed experience. I'm gonna collect some more stuff while we're at it. We got 10 minutes to spare. I'll be there like with a couple minutes early just in case I miss I don't want to miss something. Playing partially transmitted broadcast. That spooked me so much the first time I watched. Let me play this game. Ooh, nuclear reactor fragment. I want this. Almost learned how to make a nuclear reactor. Oh, speaking of things I'm learning, if I remember correctly, there's actually a lot of stuff to learn around here. After the ore explodes, it just scatters its stuff all over the place, so. We're gonna go downhill into this ditch. Gotta keep track of my oxygen levels. It takes me about a, a sixth. Oh, hey, I can scan something. Ah! <laughs> ah, it spooked me. What is this? It's 
Cyclops engine fragments. Yep, definitely want Cyclops stuff. 100%. How deep can I go without killing myself? <laughs> what was that? Uh. Am I not allowed? I, I went deeper and things started screeching at me. Wait, is this? Oh, it is. If I stand on top of this thing, I'll get some vi some stuff. So, sorry, I'm I'm reading chat room for a sec. <laughs> I don't know if I should I should be hearing these things, man. <laughs> Hey, it's, it's better to get, you know, be prepared and stuff. It's all good. Okay. I'm gonna brave boy this and go down there with the bad guys, with the things that are screeching at me. I'm gonna brave boy. And I can always try and escape if things get too bad. I don't regret this. Famous fight last words, right? I hope I don't regret this. Oh, this is a bad thing. Oh, I can't see with my light off. Where is it? Okay. Sounds are terrifying. I don't know what that is. I 100% don't want to find out at the moment. Too scared. I am. I am going back. Um, I'm brave boying back away from, <laughs> from danger. <sighs> I've played this before and it still gives me the creepers, man. This... 30 seconds. Shit. Night up. Those things are definitely teleporting. 100% if I get close to them. So the first time I play this, I'm like, hey, those are cool big octopuses things. I wonder if they're friendly. I go up to them, they just like destroy me. They demolish my sanity. And uh, I don't. I even though I'm like no spoilers for you guys. No, I'm. I'm gonna save you the trauma. And not try to play with those guys yet. I'll play with them later. I'll just save you the trauma. <laughs> no, this is glowing. That's cool. Should I? Should I brave boy? Oh, I'm tempted. I got seven minutes to, sp to just lounge around. I'm gonna go explore the cave. If I can find it. Huh? I am hitting a rock. Okay.
Again, I apologize for the stuttering. No matter what setting you play this on, I think some places. I mean, this, this is an indie game, right? It wasn't the best optimized. They did a pretty decent job at it. You know, from what you get, it's, it's wonderful. Oh, is that? <gasps> That's nothing. I was about to say, is that a sunrise? But no, it's just the planet. Or, I guess, the moon that's orbiting this planet? Things are insane. Anyway, it's just going in circles. So we got... I'm gonna do about three more minutes and then I'm gonna go to the landing site. This place is lit. So much faster underwater. How much for it being lit? I don't see anything. What is this? Okay. Sounds are really spooking me, man. I hate this cave system so much. Screw it, there's nothing there. I'm gonna go back. How do I know there's nothing there? I will it. Ooh! Ooh, shiny! I got. A, I picked up a shiny. Okay, maybe, maybe there was something there, and I'm just I'm scared. All right, let's go back. If I can make my way up. Uh, which way is up? Is this way up? Yes! Surface! See what I mean? You could just get lost! Is that the entrance? Is that the entrance? Okay, we're outside! Best part of the stream though has got to be when the computer's like, hey! There are multiple Leviathan class baddies in that direction. Are you sure what you're doing is worth it? Okay. I'm at the landing site. Three minutes to go. I got my... Is that hair? Do I have hair? <laughs> what is this model? <laughs> the feet aren't... Don't catch... Like, the feet... Don't cast shadows. It's just my calves. Wait, is it because I'm wearing shoes? If I take the shoes off, the flippers. Do I even have flippers? I do have flippers. Okay, they just disappear while I'm on the ground. Also, the... <laughs> Wait, hold up. Hold on. We gotta dissect this. So, my in-water legs 
don't just have a different animation. But you see how even the like the feet are displayed? And the fins too display shadow. But when I'm on ground, something happens to the animations. And feet and flippers don't have shadow. Wait, hold on. Is this just a ray casting issue? Like if I go up higher, will that mean Yeah it is! Look at this! Shadows will only be cast if you're a certain height off of the ground. But the height means that your feet usually don't cast shadows if you're walking. I never knew that. Okay, one minute to go. I'm here. Rescue me! There's no music or anything. Little flappy birds. Alright, what did I pick up? So I picked up... Not that much this time. I can go exploring and splunking later. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. Rescue me, please. Can I, can I be rescued? <laughs> What is it Steve Irwin said? I want to go touch it! Alright, this is where graphics... ...indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. This is where... Uh, frame rate drops to zero and explore this for a little bit and we'll call it a day. Oh, the frames! Look at this! If I move left and right, can't see anything! Can 
Can I scan this? Unknown language. Attempting translation. Alright, let's see here. Discovered inside an alien facility, it was not possible to translate to any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It's likely a solid state computer, although there's no clear way to interface with it. An approach it began producing low frequency radio waves containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It's likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Further research required. So, didn't get anything useful from that, but it's a really pretty building. Mineral substance has no entry on periodic table. Likely grown artificially, cube appears suggested it has been cut from a larger deposit. Each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of 5 kilotons of TNT. Okay. Energy source. It also makes really loud sounds. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Let's see what this one says. We got data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the patterns to three-dimensional space, it's possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. Construction material. Uh, identified ultra-hard non-reactive metal um, amal amalgam. Synthesized from the off-world material. Oh, so this structure is not built from things mined on this planet. Very cool. Uh, schematics indicate the facility was to be powered by a separate, self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. Location is not listed, but there is evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Layout. A facility consists of upper engineering section, when the schematic is found, and the control room, where the access via security selected elevator shaft or separate underwater monopole. Moon pool, sorry. Controls. Controls in the lower section. Alright. Guess uh, we keep going. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Look at our depth meter go up. Okay, so if we had a boat, we could drive it in here. And by boat, I mean a <laughs> vehicle, submersible. I don't think boats go underwater very well.
Sorry about that pause. Ooh, 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 stuff. Okay. This stuff is cool. Okay. Let's see here. Alien rifle. Oh. Uh, just a quick note for people watching the stream. Uh, at what point are humans... Or the humans consider the aliens when we are on a different non-human planet? Let's look at this rifle thing. Resembles to human weaponry. Whether the aliens that built the structure were themselves humanoid or others employed the use of humanoids is unclear. Uh, but uh, they considered defending this facility a necessary precaution. This is there's no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. Okay. We have uh, another archway. Oh, let me just self scan really quick. Self scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. So, I guess I'm sick. That's what I heard, is I am sick. That's alright. Antibacterial should work. Uh, frame rates are horrible. For anybody watching, I'm really sorry about... Uh, hmm, I get to pick up another tablet. I'm really sorry if you're getting nauseous from it. Oh, this is my favorite thing. Watch this. Believe it or not, in the entire game, this is one of my favorite, like, little gizmos. Now, let me scan it. Doomsday device. Scan indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. <laughs> That's so great. Scans indicate the facility's control room. Lies beyond this doorway. Scan. panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Okay. Translating background broadcast, downloading summary to databank. Alright, what's the background broadcast? World Sphere Control Tournament. Nope, not this one. Energy Core. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna point this somewhere not towards the screen because I can't read anything. <laughs> Device houses energy equivalent of a hundred megaton nuclear detonation, which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Power is routed via the attached terminal, along with the device being deactivated necessary, its current operation without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. So the ship that we were on, that got blown out of, or that fell from the sky, was actually blown out of the sky. 
tough luck. And first we'll control tournament. It's just we plug in the little things and it opens up force fields. Alright, well. Well. Looks like we gotta find a cure for this disease which an extremely extremely uh What's it called? Advanced alien species has not been able to cure. And the entire planet's under quarantine. I mean, there's a lot of fish which are like doing okay. So if I can figure out what the fish are doing to not die from bacterial infection, I'll be okay. Speaking of bacterial infection, I just scanned myself? I'm gonna scan myself again. Infected. Yeah, it says that on the screen. Outside. <gasps> Once I head outside, I'm gonna call it uh, at least for now. Thank you guys so much for coming to my stream. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you guys have enjoyed this much shorter episode. The first episode was like, what, three hours long uh, this time? Just explored a little bit. Huh? Lots of fun. Okay. With that and the setting sun. Or is that the sunrise? It is sunset. With the setting sun, the giant alien structure thing, cannon, gun. I wish you guys a good time and uh, I'll see you in the next one. I do.